Hey guys, Berinfos here and welcome to a new GTA Mayhem Challenge. This one is in GTA 5 this time and it's submitted by the Grim Reaper GG. GG indeed, this challenge is amazing. Let's go in 3, 2, 1, go start the challenge. We have to kill so many peeps today and this challenge is the first one in GTA 5 as I said and sorry for, making, for taking too long to start a GTA 5 challenge but I didn't get that many good ones submitted. Unfortunately. That's why I still don't have a GTA 4 and GTA 5 challenge. Yeah, it is the first one. And since this is this should be episode 10, I believe. And for the 10 episode, I'm gonna make a special episode with GTA 5. Now this challenge. If you have watched my previous Mayhem challenges, that guy <laughs> I run him over. If you have watched my previous Mayhem challenges, you would know which one the hardest challenge was. It was the only one so far in Vice City Stories. That one took lots of attempts. There was another one which was in GTA 3, which I did recently, which is also super difficult. Well, this one is the most difficult by far. Yeah. This challenge is insane. Yeah, guys, so many steps. The steps are, you know, fine, but some steps take, like, let's say, step number 9 took half the video. This challenge is 32 minutes long and I had to speed up some things just to, you know, make it more enjoyable to you guys. Because I gotta say, watching the same thing for half a video for 15 minutes was not gonna be fun for you. It was certainly not fun for me doing step number 9 because that step sucks because I have to go all the way from one part of the map to the other part of the map and I... Holy crap, that was an awesome crash. And I had to go over water because if I tried to go not over water it would have been terrible, I would have failed a lot more. So this challenge took me 40... I have 44 failed attempts on this challenge and it took me 5 hours and 31 minutes to complete. Yeah, guys! I don't think I have done... I have tried more on the other challenges so far, even on the Vice City Stories one I didn't try that much. If you also remember, I have said before that the GTA 3 challenge I did recently took me a month or two to do. Well, I didn't play it every day, but this one I did play every flip and day. Oh my goodness, I have to also keep my stars, so that's why I'm shooting randomly. Not to lose my stars. But this one, I did play it every single day. So this is what happened. I was craving for challenges. I didn't have that many good ones. And lots of good ones were suggested recently. So I opened the file of all my challenges on GTA 5 and I just picked one. This one seemed great. It seemed also easy. Yeah, it seemed easy, guys, but no, I was rudely, rudely mistaken. Nah, that's not the word, but whatever, that's not the phrase. Anyway, I was surprised and very mistaken on how difficult this challenge was. I was almost, I'm stupid here and just jumping on the rocks. Anyway, I was very mistaken. I just picked this challenge and I said, ah, I'm gonna beat it in, in two days. So I played every single day I tried for a duration of maybe eight, should it be eight? Let's let's say ten days. Every single night after work, I came back from work and I did this challenge, and I failed forty-four times. So I said, "Screw this challenge! I'm gonna rage quit and not touch it for a week or something." And I didn't touch it for five days. For five days, I did not touch this challenge. So. After these 5 days stopped, when I came back from work, I said, you know what, I'm free now, I don't have anything else to record, let's record, let's try this out. I mean, I'm not gonna do it, of course I'm not gonna do it, since I, I'm super rusty with the challenge, I haven't attempted it in 5 days, let's just attempt it once and just call it quits, go to bed afterwards. Well, what happened for the, from the first try, I completed this challenge, this is the completed attempt, first flippin' try after. After five days, <laughs> I cannot believe it. 
Also, this, uh, this attempt had some fails on this step, actually. <laughs> oh my goodness. For all my previous attempts, on these steps I didn't have that many issues. I think I had only once. And you can see what I'm talking about. Over here, I'm trying to do something which is very sneaky. I could go in the proper way in the army base. Or I could take this ramp. Now this ramp is super easy to take. But look at this. First attempt. Fail. <laughs> I failed getting off. Getting in the army base. And you might think, oh, step number two, to, to try number two. Of course, you're gonna do it. It's a super easy ramp to take. Why not just take it and that's it? Why are you talking about this? Well, attempt number two. Fail. <laughs> I failed again, guys. This is a super easy ramp. In all the previous attempts, I did complete it from the first try. I don't know what's wrong. So, at the start, I did take the the proper way in. However, there's lots of security guards at the door. So that's not a good idea, because they decrease my armor quite a bit. Which is not pleasant, because I need armor later on in this challenge. And for this car, if you're wondering why it's not destroyed yet, it does have armor, it's tuned. It has the best armor, and I also bought for myself the best armor, which is kind of useless because it gets shredded quite often. But anyway, this was the hardest step. This here was the hardest step. Like, probably 30 of my attempts were at this step. Because very often this thing did not even spawn, and if it did, I immediately got shut down. This is the hardest step. I'm gonna actually make a special video on how to get this jet. Cause it's not easy guys. I thought, just get in, take it, and you're off. But no, there's lots more to it. There's lots of video sessions on how to get this jet and many of them are actually wrong. And I'm gonna make a video on that later. This is super hard. Also, I get, if I get shot two times, I'm dead. I'm just dead. It can't handle more than two shots. This was the hardest tip. It's a good thing it's so early in the challenge, but still, so far I have wasted eight minutes. I waste eight sing eight minutes every single time I try this. Also, some of the other challenges are also super difficult. Later on, which does not help, because for some steps. I spent 20 or 30 minutes on this challenge and I failed at the last step. That sucked so much, wasting so much time. At least it's a super fun game, guys. I don't usually play this game that often. But for this challenge I did play it quite a lot, yeah. Also, in these 5 hours and 30 minutes I said that I tried this challenge, I'm not taking into account the other steps. I mean the, the practice runs, I should say. The practice runs, I did have some practice runs. Like learning how to steal the Hydra that took like an hour maybe. I also did lots of research on the game in general because I am not that familiar with it. I mean I did complete it at 100% before, but I'm not that familiar with it. So I need to, needed to research some stuff like taking shortcuts and watch some speedruns or something. So, let's add five more <laughs> hours into this. Yeah, so let, let's say ten hours this took me in general, but only the fails took five hours and thirty-one minutes. Okay, so this step here is to get another star. Now, I'm not gonna do that. This step is to take another star. Because I think that the map, the map maker, <laughs> what am I talking about? The challenge maker, the challenge suggester, did not think that I was gonna get four stars in the army base. Cause he or she just said, get a rhino or a jet. And he probably doesn't know that you can only get these in the army base. So he didn't think that I was gonna have four stars. So he probably wants me to have four stars here. So that's why I didn't get 4 stars. 
yeah, so I'm gonna skip that step. Also to make it a lot easier for me because if I did have yeah, 5 stars here, this would just be impossible. Yeah, just, just impossible. Also, if you're wondering why I didn't take the tank and took the jet, it's because the tank could not be stolen. I just can't do it. I know it, it can be done, but I can't. It's just so difficult, man. So difficult. Also, I'm waiting here to put on a helmet. I don't know if a helmet helps me, actually. Or it doesn't. I don't know. But I just made sure to put it on, just in case. Okay. So yeah, taking the tank is not an easy option. I did try it once and I failed miserably. You're gonna see that in my failed attempts video. And this time I'm gonna make a failed attempts video. Yeah! For GTA 3, previous GTA 3 challenge, I did not make such a video. Because... I deleted the footage. But this time all my footage is on my hard drive. Yes, I still have it, I still have all my failed attempts, and some of them are super stupid, and most of them are at step number... Step number... 4, yeah. Actually, step number 3, yeah, steal the jet. <laughs> that was so difficult. Oh, that step sucked so much. I wish it wasn't there. Because, I mean, if it was stamp number one, it would be good, but wasting eight minutes for nothing at the start sucks so much. And this, guys, this step took half the video, half the challenge. So, grab your popcorn, don't get motion sickness in on this, because there's lots of wobbling around. And watch and enjoy! The waves in this game, the water is amazing! So I'm gonna skip, not skip, but speed up some of the footage here. Lots of the footage, actually. Because it will be super mega boring. As you can see, I'm trying to shoot the, the helicopter. And I have a pistol. For what reason? In my course, I could use something a lot better than a pistol. So I'm trying and trying and trying here to change to another weapon, but I can't. I just can't. I don't know why it doesn't let me. But I can only use a pistol in boats, which is so stupid. So here I had the brightest idea to change from a jet ski to a regular boat. It's allowed, it does not say don't change to a boat from the jet ski. So I decided to, to change to a boat. Oh, this, this was a huge mistake. An enormous mistake, because as you can see, it's a lot slower. <laughs> I want a faster boat to reach my destination a lot faster. And it's super slow. Also, it's a bigger target. They can shoot me a lot better in the boat. That was such a stupid mistake, man. I can't believe I took the bait. In my previous attempts, I did go in a jet ski. Yeah, I chose a jet ski. But here... And this completed attempt, I did not choose a jet ski. Also, this rock all of a sudden appeared, and I managed to. With the previous attempt, in the previous attempts with the jet ski, it was not an issue. Because the jet ski is not as fat. <laughs> but here it is. Also, the most amazing thing happened here. Look at this. Shooty, shooty. Shooty, shooty. I shot him once so far. This is the, thir the second attempt. Second shot, and there we go, guys. I actually shot down the pilot of the helicopter. This is the first time I ever do this with a pistol. From a moving vehicle, nonetheless. This was a great accomplishment. This was the highlight of the episode. Also, I have to go all the way over here. Yeah. It does not say go with a boat or a jet ski. Dear, but I decided to do it like that. And there's a specific reason why I decided to stop at that particular spot. Because on the whole shore, I took a helicopter once and I flew on the whole shore, searching for vehicles close to the shore. And I only found two spawn locations of vehicles super close to the shore around the whole shore of the map, guys. Bear in mind, this map is enormous, and there's only two spots for vehicles. 
at least that I'm aware of. So, we have one one spot which has super stupid car. It's ultra slow. I did attempt it once with that car and it was a nightmare. So I decided to go for this one. This one is a lot farther away unfortunately. But it's an option. Now if it's not close to the shore I will just die. I will just die. I have to be close. It has to be close to the shore because once I get out of the boat there's gonna be like five or four police officer cars next to me. And that sucks because all they do is shoot me. And in Michael's special ability does not help. Even one bit with the situation. Because if you know if he has a special ability which slows down the gameplay. Which helps you out shoot the guys. Better. But unfortunately. It doesn't help when there's so many police officers. Also, doing it here makes the police officers spawn on the ferris wheel up there. At the ferris wheel spot. Up there. Which helps also a lot. So, this is the... The car. Unfortunately, it's a super slow car, so I have to change the cars. It's actually a truck, not a car. The other downside is that it takes such a long time to get in it. You have to break the window, you have to climb first of all, you have to break the window, you have to get inside, you have to start it, starting it takes a long time. Now that's unfortunate. As you can see it takes a long time. The good thing is that there's also good spawn locations here for cars. There's spawn locations right here for cars and they're also pretty far from the shore. If I try to go directly at them, I would fail. In my previous attempts I did fail this step because I went directly for these cars. Fortunately also, lots of good cars spawn here and this is quite an amazing car, it's an Audi R8. It's a great car, a fantastic car. In my previous attempts I did have good cars here, but this is the best one so far. It's amazing, so quick. Also, one pop tire is gonna ruin my whole challenge. So far, it has been like 25 minutes. And failing here is a nightmare. I hate this feeling. Failing here. And... I did fail, guys. I did fail here. Not, not in this challenge completed video, of course. Because it's the completed challenge. Not in this video. But in my previous attempts, I did fail here. Too. And that's a half an hour almost wasted. Ugh, oh, that sucks. Anyway, that's okay. I have to go to Franklin's house. Now, you, you might say, well, you didn't have that many issues with the first car you drove. Well, that car had max armor and bulletproof tires. This one does not. It's also a fragile car. So it's a lot more difficult to stay alive in it than the previous car. The previous car could take hundreds of bullets. Even probably thousands, I don't know. But this one cannot. Okay, so I have to kill 5 to 10 gang members. I had a lot of difficulty finding the fifth person. So I set out for something else. You'll see that. So as you can see I'm trying and trying and trying to find more gang members and I desperately didn't want to fail this challenge here because that would be a half an hour wasted. More. It's not wasted if I'm having fun honestly because this challenge is super fun. At least some steps, some steps are super boring like the boat step took such a long time you, you saw it sped up. But it's actually super mega boring. Anyway, some steps are amazing. This challenge is amazing. Thank you, the Grim Reaper, GG, <laughs> GG indeed. I love your name, you should comment more, you have only left two comments on my videos, you should comment more dude, your challenges are amazing. Anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to desperately find uh, another gang member, I'm, I'm circling around, so I 
went around like 2 minutes, 3 minutes and nobody spawned. So I set out for something else. I completely forgot that gang members also spawn in cars. <laughs> yeah, gang members have cars and they spawn in the cars too. So I decided to shoot one in the car and I was not entirely sure if that was a, a gang member or not. So here I said I'm gonna go close to Grove Street because I know that there's uh, people there. I'm sure of it. Also if you shoot in the car, gang members get upset. So if you shoot randomly, they could get out and start shooting you and make themselves known. That I guess was a gang member. So I said after that, I'm done. I'm just done, that was probably a gang member, I'm not sure, so let's go. And here I screwed up pretty severely, because a single mishap like that could could cost my whole challenge. I'm done with that challenge, I'm done with that step, I have to just go to my safe house and save. I also have to lose my stars, of course. And I got a pop tire. This was a tragedy, this was the biggest disaster you could do to yourself, to your car. At least it's one tire, if my other tire gets popped, it's over, it's completely over. I cannot continue with two pop tires, especially when they're next to each other, like the rear two tires or the front two tires, if they get popped, it's over, just over. I can't do anything about it. And that sucks. Anyway, you might be wondering why I chose Maiko for this challenge idea. Because Franklin has a much better special ability. It's a lot more helpful for this challenge. While well, step number 12 is save at Michael's house. And I can only save at Michael's house with Maiko. So I was forced to play as Maiko. Which is great because it gave me a challenge, a much better challenge, because it's a lot more difficult to play as Maiko with cars on your ass. So guys, challenge almost completed. This took me weeks, two weeks, shut up, two weeks, 44 fails, 5 hours and 31 minutes only with tries. Ugh. And th this does not take into account the the practices as well. I'm showing you around. I'm also searching for my own bedroom because I didn't remember where exactly it is. And thank you again, the Grim Reaper GG for this amazing challenge. It was a blast doing it. I'm gonna save the game and the challenge is gonna be completed after I do. Click alert. Yes, guys. Challenge complete. Thank you again, the Green Reaper GG, for this amazing challenge. Guys, if you have any more suggestions for amazing challenges on any GTA game, leave them in the comments and I'll probably do it if it's good enough. Thank you so much for watching, people, and I'll see you in the next episode.